Now to South Sudan. As the country looks to move forward, many of its citizens struggle with lasting impacts of the internal conflict. Depression, suicide and other mental health issues present a major challenge as Tatal takes a look at how one initiative is looking to raise awareness around these issues. South Sudan's armed conflict has killed thousands and displaced millions. But as the country looks to build on its fragile peace, many are still haunted by dark memories. James Jafar fled his hometown after fighters started killing and raping his neighbors. Once he fled with his family to the United Nations Protection of Civilian Site, he felt despair, not hope. It's difficult to survive in the camp. When I came here, I was so lonely. I realized drinking was not solving my problems. I decided to kill myself. My friend came, forced the door open, and rescued me. Suicide is not uncommon here. Experts believe the conflict has had detrimental impact on the citizens' mental health. With this in mind, the UNHCR and other humanitarian organizations launched Operation Hope. The project provides counseling and awareness around mental health. The economic situation remains a serious challenge for them, and they are now moving freely about like they did before the war, and they are just stagnant. They see left as the end uh, with the current situation to find themselves. James, with the help of loved ones, has been able to pick himself up. He now volunteers with Operation Hope, lending inspiration to those who may be suffering. Life can be challenging, but it can also be good. You can be happy or sad, but you should not lose hope. As the struggles of daily life can sometimes be too much, Operation Hope looks to show healthy ways of dealing with stress. James does his part to show there is still hope for those living in South Sudan. Asatal CGTN.